really looking at the benefits of hassle. How many of you, when you go to your large food industries or food organization companies, you look to see if there is a HACCP certification there? That is very critical for these companies because what it says, says to us as consumers is that we are practicing food safety here. So HACCP certification promotes confidence in food trade and stability in food business. It also says to us as consumers that all reasonable protections would have been taken to ensure that whatever you are consuming is safe. It also says that this is a cost-effective method of assuring food safety and preventing any form of foodborne disease or injuries to consumers. It shifts the emphasis from statistically unreliable end product testing, which is often retrospective, to a more prevention-oriented approach for the production of safe food. It focuses resources on those parts of the process that is critical for ensuring that safe foods are produced. It reduces product loss due to spoilage and it encourages confidence in the safety of food products and thus therefore ensuring that consumers eat safe food. It facilitates the design and construction of new processing and facilities and also equipment by predicting potential hazards and suggesting critical control measures that should be taken. Now we're going to be looking at the principles and the first principle is to one, identify the potential hazards associated with food production at all stages from the farmer right to the consumer. So from the farm to the table, all the stages you have to consider what are the potential hazards. Step two, determine the points, the procedures, the operational steps that can be controlled to eliminate these hazards or to minimize its likelihood of occurrence. These are known as critical control points or CCPs. Very important for you to highlight. The third principle, establish critical limits which must be met to ensure that the CCPs are under control. Step four, establish a system to monitor control of the CCPs by scheduling or testing or doing some form of observation. Step five, establish corrective action to be taken when monitoring indicates that a particular CCP is not under control. So record keeping is going to be very, very important there. Step six, establish procedures for verification, which include supplementary tests and procedures to confirm that the HACCP system is working effectively. Step seven, I spoke about record keeping. Establish documentation concerning all procedures and records appropriate to these principles. So those are the seven principles that are involved in the HACCP. Let me recap. Principle one, conduct a hazard analysis. Principle two, identify critical control points. Principle three, establish critical limits. Principle four, monitor the critical control points. Principle five, establish corrective action. Principle six, verification. Principle seven, record keeping. We're going to be taking a break. After this, we're going to be looking at how is it that we apply the HACCP system in a large food industry. We'll be right back.